everybody. Today we're going to be making corned beef and cabbage in the Ninja Foodie in honor of St. Patrick's Day as well as my birthday. I'll let you, the viewers, decide how old I'm going to be. Please be kind. Lower it 10-15 years. Um, I was supposed to have a nice St. Patrick's Day t-shirt. A friend of mine designs t-shirts. She did send it to me but didn't get, in, get here in time for me to wear it. But when that t-shirt arrives, I promise to do like a chocolate mint or just a mint cheesecake and I'll wear that beautiful Irish shirt. So let's just jump right in and get started making corned beef and cabbage. Let's discuss corned beef. I went to Sam's Club this morning with my mother and I did see this corned beef there. This is a flat cut corned beef. The flat cut is leaner. There's another cut. It's called the point. The point is much more fattier. It's up to you which one you would like to make. I chose this one because this is the only option I had. But this one I think would make better sandwiches. There's less fat to cut off. But fat equals flavor. What you want to do with this, you want to rinse this under cold water thoroughly just to get some of that salt off that because it is brined. And there's a nice little seasoning packet. Do not throw that away because we need that to add it to the cooking liquid and the Ninja Foodi. So let me just go ahead and rinse this. All right, the corned beef is rinsed. I'll just put it in a half sheet pan. This is what the flat cut looks like. You have like a fat cap. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that fat on there because it's not too thick. It is a bit thick there, but it should render and I will just cut it off when I'm done if we don't want that fat on there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add two and a half cups of water to the Ninja Foodi. We're also gonna go ahead and add 12 ounces of beer. You wanna make sure you use a beer that you drink. I think this is a brown ale. I just wanna show you what it looks like. It smells pretty good. This is an unfiltered beer. Uh, where's it from? Burlington, Vermont, it's from. It's pretty good. Go ahead and pop that trivet right in. We're gonna take this corned beef. Let's get closer here. And we're just gonna pick it up. It should fit right in there. What we're also going to add, I'm gonna drop in two cloves of garlic. We're going to put in onions as well. Try to fit those down the sides. This is just one medium onion that I had chopped up into four pieces. You're also gonna go ahead and add that seasoning packet. Oops, I don't wanna get it all over the place. Oh, it smells great. There we go. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and take that 12 ounces of beer and just pour it over the corned beef. Oh yeah, this is gonna be beautiful, delicious, everything. We're gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's set to seal. Go ahead and turn it on. We'll go on down to the control panel. You're going to select pressure. It always defaults to high. The time, we're gonna bring this up to 85 minutes because it's a four pound brisket. Whoops. Let's see how fast that jumps. That's 90, whoops. Okay, hour and 25 minutes and we're just gonna hit start. So while the corned beef is coming up to pressure and it has to cook for 85 minutes on high pressure, I'm gonna go over the veg that you're gonna need that we're going to cook after the corned beef is done. This is about a pound or a pound and a half of potatoes. And we're just gonna cube them up into about that size piece right there. We're also going to need pound or pound and a half of carrots. And I usually cut them up into like that size piece, like that, this one's a bit bigger than this one. But try to get them all the same size or as close as you can get to the same size. We also have a lovely head of cabbage. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut this. Be careful, because this is sometimes hard to get through. There we go. We're a bit uneven, but that's okay. We're also just gonna, we're just gonna cut it into quarters. There you go. Now you can go ahead and remove this stem. 
That's the stem part right here. I'm just gonna go ahead, cut that out, just like that. Beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that up. And I will see you back in about 85 minutes. You got three seconds left till it's done cooking. It's done cooking. Now we're going to be doing a natural release for 20 minutes. And notice how the Ninja Foodie is going to count up. And I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, so we have two seconds left for it to reach 20 minutes. Now we're gonna do a manual release. The red tab in the back has dropped, so it's safe to take the cover off. Once again, be careful, open it away from you because there's gonna be a lot of steam. Shake the lid, there's excess water, and I'm just gonna put the lid off to the size, side. And look at that, if you guys can smell it in here, it smells wonderful. That corned beef shrunk quite a bit. So now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the corned beef out of the pot and put it to the side. Let's see if we can do this without keep it intact. Oh yeah, look at that. That is great. So let's lift this guy up. There we go. Put it over here. We're going to take that trivet out. So what we're going to do now is take the inner pot out and strain this liquid. Be very careful. It's very hot. Whoa. There we go. Just go ahead and put the pot right back in. All right, so I'm gonna take this over, whoops, and just set it in the sink. All righty, so we're gonna actually pour back in probably like a cup and a half of this liquid. We're just gonna eyeball it. It's probably enough right, right there. We're gonna take our trivet, put it, place it back in. Once again, please be careful. Let me just add a bit more liquid here. There we go. So this, to this pot right here, we're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes, carrots, and cabbage. All right, so I'm just gonna drop these potatoes in. Just be careful, because you get a little bit of backsplash. We're gonna go ahead and put our carrots in. And the cabbage. I cut this up into eight pieces, just like this. You gotta make sure it all fits in here. There we go. You're gonna take your pressure lid and put it back on. Oops, come on. Make sure it's set the seal. Let's go down to the control panel. Okay, you're gonna hit pressure. It's high, we're gonna set the time for four minutes. Press start. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous corned beef. I am gonna take it out of here and I'm gonna put it on a cutting board. There we go. We're actually gonna let this rest for about, until the veg is done. I'm gonna let it rest until the veg is done. Um, and then I wanna show you that we're actually going to cut against the grain on this corned beef. So while the veg is coming up to pressure, um, it hasn't gotten there yet. Um, that thing is fully loaded, so it is taking a little bit more time than what I expected, which is fine. So we're gonna go over cutting this against the grain. As you can tell, I snuck a piece, and oh my. This is the best corned beef I've ever had in my life. It's so moist, oh, it's delicious. So what I'm gonna do is just pick this up. This is the grain. The grain actually goes this way. Also, right now, you can actually trim some of this fat off if you want to, because it's pretty thick right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just cut that off so I can show you. I'll just put that over to the side. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this. I'll just use my fingers right here. We're cutting against the grain. Whoop. Look at that. that. This is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Probably should put something underneath my cutting board. Look at that. It's cutting so nicely, so easily. Cut some more of that fat off. And we're just gonna continue doing this. You can cut this like in quarter inch thick slices. Look at that, beautiful. Now if you're making this for other people, and because I'm touching it with my bare hands, 
Uh, put a glove on or use tongs. I just wanted to put it this way so you could actually see me cutting against the grain. Vegetables are done. We're just gonna go ahead and do a quick release. That took about three minutes and 10 seconds for the red pin to drop. It's safe to take the top off. Once again, open it away from you, shake the lid and put the lid off to the side. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and take these, take the veg out and I'm gonna be back with a delicious taste test. Okay, we are back with the taste test. Look at this, I'll show you the veg first. Beautiful, steaming, hot veg. We got potatoes, carrots, and the cabbage. And then we have that beautiful corned beef, cooked to perfection. All right. I just took a little bit on each just to try it. So we've already tried the corned beef and it's out of this world, but we're gonna go ahead and do it again. If we can cut a piece, there we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious, moist, just out of this world. Let's try some of the potato. I didn't put anything on these, by the way. Super hot. The potatoes even have flavor, and it actually picked up some of the salt from the water that was in the pot because a lot of potatoes sat in the uh, liquid that I put back in. Let's try a carrot. Mmm, perfect. Now the cabbage. Ah, cut it with a fork. Let's do a taste test. Mmm, cooked to perfection. So run out, get a corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. Don't forget your beer and make the most delicious corned beef you're ever gonna have. Cheers.